Frost. FEWIC 223 is the electrical machines laboratory used for the electrical power class and the one credit electrical machines lab, both of which are taken in the junior year. Two or three students work in the room on 50 to 40 minute experiments under faculty supervision. Students routinely work with 208 volt three phase systems and 120 volt single phase systems. A table with tools is available at the front of the room. There also is a display area with components of transformer, motors, and other machines. The workbenches throughout the room demonstrate different aspects of electrical power. An introductory experiment demonstrates what instantaneous power looks like going into a single phase bulb and includes single phase power, electrical load, light bulbs, and a power resistor. An oscilloscope displays 120 volt AC sine wave voltage the experiment also has a current probe to measure the current going into the load along with other meters. A single phase induction motor serves as a dissectable machine allowing students to build various machines, including single phase DC machines, a three phase synchronous motor, and a three phase synchronous generator. Students can get inside the machine and connect the dots themselves. It also includes light bulbs for loading when the machine is built as a three phase generator. The heart of the room is the three-phase 208-volt power system, a miniaturization of a secondary power distribution system. The three-phase electrical supply passes through the distribution panel to provide a three-phase fixed output. Students can also vary the three-phase output, including 208-volt line-to-line and 120-volt line-to-neutral. Two synchronous machines with driving motors that can bring the machine up to speed can run as motors or generators. Generally, one runs as a motor and the other as a generator, with the drive motor operating the generator at 3,600 RPMs. The machines include rotation meters so students can verify the rotation of the machines. Two lamp panels include a synchronizing box that allows students to synchronize a three-phase machine to the mains. DC power supplies provide field supply to the drive motor and generator. There are three meters to measure voltage, current, and power, showing what is coming in from the mains and each machine. Other meters measure current, measure power going into the load, and another monitor measures real power, reactive power, current power, current voltage, and other data. The system has different electrical loads that can load with a three-phase load of light bulbs and a lab volt system at the bottom that allows students to switch in capacitive loads, inductive loads, and resistant loads. At the heart is a bus system, just as is used in real life settings, which allows students to connect different loads. The bus is completely enclosed and is connected with the double insulated plugs and 600 volt cable. It can be loaded with light bulbs, resistors, capacitors, and any combination of those. The students can also load the system with a three phase induction motor, loaded with a generator that produces the counter torque against the motor. The three-phase five-wire system allows single-phase loads to be connected as well, including line-to-line -line and line-to-neutral so students can look at balanced and unbalanced systems. High-voltage oscilloscopes are used for power measurements. Students can see the three-line voltages and the line current as they load the system with different power factors. An oscilloscope also allows students to see the voltage waveforms on either side of the switch when they are about to synchronize. We hope to see you on campus soon to tour our electrical machines lab in person. Click on these video tours of some of our other labs in the electrical engineering department.